violent anti-Semitic street thugs. Not a single police charge was laid at that riot. Yesterday here in Toronto, Palestinian protesters took to the streets demonstrating their hatred towards Israel and taking it out on Canadian citizens while the cops stood by. This comes as terrorism in the Middle East reaches new heights. Is Canada the next front line for Muslim extremists? Well, you know the answer for that. And here Jonathan Levy is from the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs. He joins us with more. Jonathan, welcome back to the show. As our viewers know, you're fluent in English, Arabic, Hebrew, Farsi. You read what most journalists can't because you speak Arabic and you're holding in your hands an Arabic language newspaper. Can you hold it up for the cameras? This is a newspaper called Meshwar. I see that one English word. It's, uh, can you hold up hi just for the camera for a second mm -hmm. and then open it up. Tell me a little bit about this newspaper while you're showing it to our viewers. Oh, this newspaper is, uh, is published here in Toronto, in Mississauga basically. The offices of the, uh, of the newspaper is inside the building of the Palestine House. The so it's actually right there in that uh, it, in the, in the building, building where the riot was. Uh, this, but now what is, what is this? Like, I see now you're holding up an image of a machine gun mm -hmm. where people are crossing over the machine gun. What do those Arabic words around that say? It says uh, the bridge uh, to the return, which means this is the, uh, the armed struggle is the way, preferable way to uh, um, liberate Palestine and bring Palestinians into Israel. Who is the editor of Meshwar? The editor of Meshwar is Dr. Nazi Khatatba. He is board member of the Palestine House. He was also a senior official uh, of the Palestinian Authority. Did, is, is he in Canada now? He's in Canada, yes. So we got a senior Palestinian Authority leader who's in Canada, whose editorial offices are in that Palestine house where the riot was held, and he's, this is the latest at issue. Yes, edition, this, is the, this is the latest issue. Where they're saying well, the gun is the way. Now, you translate from Arabic to English. Can I, I'm just going to read your translation that you provided to us. It's a few paragraphs long, but it gives a flavor mm -hmm. for the kind of extremism published at the riot scene. I'm going to read it now, okay? There will be no rebuke of the Palestinian fighters who tried to take revenge or bear a grudge and were acting to apply force and force the enemy to surrender and accept the demand to release our prisoners who were heroes. There will be no apology because we want to remain great men and no regret because we want to be proud. And no apology because we want to be respected and no feelings of guilt because we want to have great power. So, there, so now that said Hamas representative, was that quoting some Hamas terrorist in that article? Uh, the author of the article is, doc, is Dr. Mustafa Lidawi. He used to be the uh, representative of Hamas in Lebanon. Really? So this Meshwar newspaper published in Canada, mm -hmm. that op-ed, that editorial illustrated with machine gun, is publishing Hamas propaganda. It's publishing the article of Mustafa Lidawi, who, who was a senior official of Hamas. And by the way, it's, it's, the, um, uh, it's also the position of the paper. The editor of uh, Mishwar had said, had written in his, one of his uh, editorial uh, in recent month that Jews at um, uh, the Al-Aqsa Mosque needs Mujahideen, not tourists. And he also, in his... Uh, uh, Let me translate okay. for our viewers. Mujahideen, that means... Jihad Islamic fighter. fighters, yes. Islamic soldiers. Mm -hmm. So you have a newspaper in Toronto at Palestine House that until very recently was funded by the Canadian government, where the riot is yesterday, no police charges, running an op-ed by a, a former Hamas official, and the editorial position is we need Mujahideen to go to Israel, not pilgrims. So, yeah, he's, he said also in his latest editorial that he criticized uh, Mahmoud Abbas, the PA uh, president, the Palestinian president, for not following the path of Yasser Arafat, who initiated the Al-Aqsa Intifada in, in the year 2000 as a way to, uh, to avoid the uh, conflict between uh, Fatah and Hamas at that time. So Palestine House, the director of Palestine House, who's the editor of this, is saying the PLO in Israel today is not violent enough. Is that is an, ac an accurate summary of his views? He, he wants to see uh, more uh, concrete action taken by Mahmoud Abbas. And by concrete it, action? It, it mean the, the Mukawama, which means the struggle against Israel. And by struggle, of course, they mean a physical violence struggle. It, it, the, all aspects of violence. Did you recognize any of the people in these riot videos, or were they just street thugs? No, some of them I recognized from uh, previous uh, demonstration uh, in front of the Israeli consulate in, in Toronto. Um, some of them are, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with. 
Well, I mean, 200 people, obviously, is a lot of rabble. I have to tell you, watching that, especially the flags, you know, it's almost like the colors are similar to the Nazi flag. In my mind, I see the red, white, and black flag uh, in unison and being used to beat Jews and shouting while police stand by and street thugs. It reminds me of the SA, mm -hmm. which was the pre precursor to the Nazi SS, mm -hmm. which was criminals, street thugs, the rabble of society pulled together for a political purpose back then, which was violence against Jews. Mm -hmm. And in the early 30s, before the, the Second World started, before the Holocaust got started in earnest, it was these street thugs, these paramilitaries. I feel like it came to Canada yesterday. You think, I, I mean, and the fact that a Jew had never again on his arm and he was beaten bloody and no charges came from it, I can't help but make this analogy. Do you think I'm overstating it? I got uh, updates in real time uh, from the demonstration. Two reporters of Shalom Toronto were at the scene and reported to me. And uh, they said to me that, you know, that reminds them that what's happening in Nablus, in Gaza, in, in Ramallah. So they, it's like importing the, uh, the reality in the West Bank and Gaza into, into Canada. That's the way they saw it at, yeah, at the time. Incredible. Which is bringing the Intifada into Canada. That's exactly what we're doing. I'm not against immigration, but you bring in 350,000 immigrants a year and you don't screen for Western liberal values of pluralism, democracy, and accepting other religions and races. You're going to get a little Ramallah, a little Gaza, right here in Toronto. It's bad news, but we need to know it. Thanks for being here today, John.